and welcome back. I gotta say, I've I've been now checking out this X ninety eight mini, and it has been extremely smooth device um, because it is the third party. It's not gonna play your four K Netflix your 4k disney plus it is going to have all the standard definitions the standard definitions on this thing actually looks really really good i'm actually surprised that it looks so good and so clear there are several devices that i've played with that do show standard def and those codecs man they will upscale it to make it look pretty clean so make sure you guys do check the description below i tried to leave you guys the latest and greatest stuff there and this guy is down there that way if you guys want to get hooked up there it is. So check this out. I do have this, and, and I got to show you guys this. If you guys haven't seen the other videos yet, the X98, look how tiny this is. Super neat, super cool. You could expand that storage. Very, very nice there. Now, what am I talking about when it comes to full features, Android TV options? This is a different um, interface, and it does have Android TV, but they're using a whole new different inter interface. Um, just like a different launcher, pretty nice. If I do go to the bottom and I hit that little gear icon right there, it's going to open up this section here to the side that gives me all the same features that it does for your Android TV box. Pretty good. If you come here to apps, it's going to be all your applications. This is where you're going to be able to click stuff and uninstall stuff. Pretty easy and straight to the point. If you go to your device preferences, here's your about. You could do your system updates. If you want to check it, it says your system's up to date and you should be good to go. So you no need to check it if you don't have to. Like if it ain't broke, just leave it alone. Status, this gives you everything about the device. So pretty nice. Any kind of legal information, your model, Android 11. Now, of course, you got your date, time, language, keyboard, storage. It's got all that stuff there. For your storage, it says 13 gigs of internal memory, and I think you're left with 11, so it's pretty good. Now, before I forget, I think if you go to About and you go to the bottom to Android TV OS build, yeah, if you hit it like five times, just keep hitting it until it says you are now a developer. You can get into the developer options on this thing for Android TV. Once you hit back, um, and I want to say, yep, there it is, developer options. You could enable developer options here, turn it off, bug report, stay awake. You're gonna have some extra hidden features in this thing. So USB debugging, enable view attribute inspection, select debug app, verify apps over USB, wireless display certification. There is a lot of stuff that you can do with this thing. Pointer location, just tons of tons of stuff here. So if you're looking for something, here it is. If you can't find it, might not have it. So all types of stuff there that you can do with it. Now, of course, you could do a restart. You could do a reset energy saver. Um, tons of options here. If you back up remote and accessories, if you want to add some Bluetooth stuff, there it is. So there it is. It's, it's actually very, very nice. Now, the one thing people were asking on my last video, they're just like, hey, can you remove any of these things up here? If I long hold it, I can't. It will not allow me to do it. So it's just going to open it up and that's it. This is this is is what it is. So um, and then also with your settings, I don't think you can change the launcher. The only thing you can do to customize it is at the very, very bottom right here. If you click that plus, you could remove apps. You could take apps. You could do whatever you want with them. Um, the other thing too, is if you do install, uh, an, an APK of any kind of sorts or any kind of apps, I know with Ida 64, I love that app cause it gives me everything. You can come here to ES file Explorer and do it. And you could also go to app installer. Now, if you, for me personally, I like app installer, I'll get something like this, click on local disc and it will have the app right there. All you have to do is just click on whatever app it is. It's going to start downloading. You hit install. That's it. You might get a, do you need a permission? Then you just need to go to settings and do it. Um, you can go to Chrome and this Chrome works very, very well. Um, as you guys know, I, I fire TV sticks is a great, uh, she has a great YouTube channel and that's where I go. Fire TV sticks.com go to her downloads tab and you can find everything that you want. You will need that mouse though. If you click up or down, all it's going to do is just move the page up or down. So you need to click on the mouse 
and this will guide your mouse over to whatever download it is that you want. So very, very cool. She's got tons of utility apps there to use. Again, Ida64 is a great one. Um, when it comes to everything else, you got you got play, you got updates, file browsers, Miracast, media centers, movie players. You got the Google Play Store, Root Checker, um, YouTube updater settings, tons of stuff here. So this device goes straight to the point exactly what it is that you need. It doesn't give you too much where it's like, what in the world is all this? It's so much information here. So it's very simple. And straight to the point. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of this device? This one's pretty nice and neat. Um, does not break the bank. Super budget. And it packs a lot. A lot for this little guy. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, you guys take care. Take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Take care, guys.